What's good, superstars? Back with another Pokemon TCG Pocket video. You got Superstar Joe. You got Superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? What do you got, you? Matt, today we're going to talk about all the free ways that you can get some packs on Pokemon Pocket. Yeah, I know that some people like to play for free. Not everybody wants to spend the money, spend the cash. Um, but that is one way that you can get into them. But guys, if you're new here, do not forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification. You want to see some more Pokemon TCG pocket content uh we've been loving the game when we love something we like to make videos on it so there's gonna be a lot more pokemon content on this channel uh for those of you interested you can also become a superstar vip 299 a month hit the join button down below get one of those stars next to your name flex on them in the chat let them know what level you are you're gonna level up through the ranks of the vip program and then uh, get more entries into the giveaways every single month we do our giveaways uh every single month but now we're switching them over to twitter we're gonna be announcing them uh, today actually after this video we'll do live stream on twitter to do the giveaways for that so you can guys can check that out follow us on x follow us on instagram join the discord discord is another great way to learn how to get more entries even into these get the gifting programs every single month uh we have every single digital collecting project in there that we follow we track uh great way to meet new people and learn about other things and if you want to talk about pokemon we have a pokemon tcg pocket chat just for you in there and you guys can go and have a lot of fun in there i know a lot of people have been loving the new game so uh rob how's it going it's going it's going really good and, and a lot of the online community that we interact with they've been loving this game as well so we're going to continue to make some videos on it so first of all i think we got to talk a little bit about the announcement that they made that stay tuned they are now telling us that they have a whole bunch of plans they have a roadmap ready to go so joe what, what is this that you pulled up well, on the screen here well i mean we've been keeping up with them and obviously pokemon tcg pocket has their own twitter and uh they've been updating us and i think they like one point had like 30 million downloads i mean a complete powerhouse and uh i mean big companies do big company things and one of those big company things is providing guidance on upcoming uh things that they've been working on look at this this is exactly what big companies do future update plans um hi everyone today i'd like to share a brief statement by pokemon tcg pocket team about more immediate updates coming to the game in the next few months a roadmap we have a semi roadmap on what is coming on a game with 30 million downloads okay this is not a game that needs to give updates they don't need to do that but this is what big companies do uh that are in the space and i mean to see a digital collecting platform that's been working on this just released this this game like not too long ago maybe a month now rob and uh they are already showing yeah that they are able to communicate with the community and provide uh update on what's going to be coming up so future update plans to all you let me make this bigger i don't know if you can see that well, it won't really get bigger uh, to all of you playing the pokemon tcg pocket this is the pokemon trading card game pocket operations team first off we would like to use this opportunity to thank everyone who waited in, in anticipation of the release i mean I, I don't know if you guys noticed when you download it you could have downloaded it before it was even available for me it just showed up on my phone one day because i did that and it was like i guess the pre-order was ready um i never even knew that existed so uh first uh we are continuing to develop and operate the game so that everyone can enjoy it even more. And we plan to hold a variety of in-game events in Pokemon Trading Card uh, game going forward. So they did that already, obviously, with the Lapras event. We have a video on that. If you guys haven't seen that, um, and there's going to be more of that. I thought that was really fun. What would you think of that, yeah. that uh, game? Oh, it was great. I mean, the in-game events, you know when trading comes up, too, it's going to be pretty cool as well. But in-game events are huge. They're pretty important as well to maximizing the amount of free packs. But um, you know, also get it's engagement you get different different cards as well lots of things we'll get into that in a second um but i love that they're already telling us that before the end of this year there's gonna be even new packs to open so they're, I mean, they're... that's that's just it today so, we'd like to announce the new content planned to be released in a future major update um to begin we plan to add new bat booster packs by the end of the year so that's what rob was just talking about in addition we are aiming to add a feature that allows certain cards to be traded starting in january 2025 that might be its own video where we got to talk about what could this mean potential yeah. certain cards to be traded not every single card will be traded what are going to be the stipulations on that i think we should save that for our own video our speculations yeah um we're planning to gradually expand the selection of cards that are able to be traded so they're going to start off with something and then gradually expand that we'll find out what that means also we have other new features in development outside of the trade feature introduced here we plan to announce more details about the update as the dates for the addition of these features are finalized so please 
looking forward to it. We hope you enjoy P uh, Pokemon TCG Pocket. Uh, don't forget to open your packs each day uh, and the operations. So the operations team is basically like their community management, it seems like, and uh, loving this update. So hopefully we get to see much more of this in the future. Yeah, I mean, it, we'll definitely talk about the trading in the future as well. Um, and and I didn't know Joe that you had it kind of pre-ordered and they showed up on your phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the game, the, the game is. It, I first of all, I think the reason why they're going to limit it at first is because they're worried about maybe potentially a black market. So maybe you just limit some of the high-end cards. You can't trade those at the beginning. You just trade more of the common ones. Um, but other than that, I think the premise of the game is amazing. You're you have the fun of collecting, but it's married with the utility of gamification and that's why we've been loving it so why don't we get into it now joe and, and i'm gonna while we talk about this i'm gonna bring up uh the app here so how can you maximize the free packs now i've been playing for a little bit now i've seen some crazy levels online i've made it to level 19 i've played a decent amount but like i'm not i have i haven't put a single dollar into the app i have not paid for anything that's why i've been relying on maximizing my free packs and I, at this point now, I have a couple Mewtwo's, so I have a decent deck that I can go in and I can battle with and I can win, I can finish the events. So I think the first thing I would encourage, and what the first thing that I did, was I actually did sign up for the free two-week trial. You can cancel it, no strings attached after two weeks, and I'm able to open up two packs per day because of that. So I really recommend, if you haven't already, just sign up for the free premium and just remember, maybe set like a little cal on your calendar as a, as a reminder, but remember that after 14 days, you will be charged. It's quite pricey, actually. I don't think it's worth it. But before you get to that point, you can cancel and it's all good. Um, and that's one way that you can do that. Now, going forward, another thing that I think is so, so important, uh, and, and maybe, Joel, you take the other one after this, but for me personally, is the battling. Um, especially other people. If you're battling other people, there's this thanks button, which I've heard some people are pretty petty with. I always say thanks. Unless I, I'm just button mashing, I accidentally click X. That happens sometimes too. But usually I always give thanks. So don't be petty. Just because the other person got lucky, just give them the thanks and they're going to give you the thanks. And everybody give each other thanks because then you get these shop tickets, which you can then convert into, uh, into hourglasses here. So if you take a look, you can see that if you have at least 12 of these, I can get up to six pack hourglasses. And I've been able to accumulate these because I'm battling consistently every day and people are giving me shop tickets. Great, great way to accelerate the amount of packs that you can open every single day. Yeah. So a couple of things that we're noticing here is that I'm also level 19 as I look at my phone. Um, but also your, your battery is showing how much you have been battling on Pokemon yeah. TCG Pocket <laughs> because you have absolutely no battery left on your phone right now. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention here in the shop is if you click on one of those hourglass packs, uh, you'll see that there is a limit right now. It says can, can exchange 10 out of 10. I believe that these refresh monthly. So um, you can maximize that by, I guess you get 10 packs of six, that'll get you 60. Uh, and then to exchange for a pack, that'll get you like five packs. So you can do the thanks for about five extra packs. Um, the next thing that you should focus on though, after you do the, the battling, getting your thanks tickets, and, and maximizing your hourglasses that way to get you some free packs. The next thing you should be doing is going into the solo battles. So you do the versus battles to get their thanks. You also go and you complete all these solo battles. So Rob's got them all completed, it looks like. Um, but as you unlock each level, there's going to be a different amount of hourglasses attributed to you. When you get the expert level, each time that you unlock a new level, you're getting seven extra hourglasses, which is basically a half a pack because I think you need 12 hours on standard to get a, a pack um and uh and unless you have the premium then i think it's at six hours or whatever you get an extra one every two hours or every time you get two packs every every time or something like that i don't know i don't have premium yet rob maybe you know better do you get two packs at once or do two you packs. wait every six hours oh, no it's, you wait it's twice a day i think one once at midnight and then once at noon like something mine's like that. At, mine's twice a day as well but it's just they get one pack each 12 hours yeah, no, no. I mean, I at yeah. this point right now, I have a free pack right now, and it feels like almost. It feels like every time I open it, I have a free pack. Um, oh, nice. I, so you can see there's two of them below, and I believe you may only have one underneath. Oh, so I, think, I see it. You got the the different bird there. Uh, right, right, it's a right. Separate pack, so it's got a different counter. Okay, very cool. Exactly right. So like right now, I am able to open a booster pack. I mean, since we're on camera, why not? I'm gonna go ahead and rip and open a Pikachu here. I want a second Pikachu. I only have one You're Pikachu. You're gonna get a crown on this. It just makes sense, right? Let's just easy. let's just see. Let's just see. All right. Let's just see. 
let's see what we got. No, no, no. Lieutenant surge. Not, not really my best uh, pull. Unfortunately, I was hoping for better there, but um, anyways, this is the beauty of it, right? You have the opportunity to get some cool stuff. I think I have another one that wow. I can open. I mean, might as well. I, I, we're all interested in this stuff, right? So we'll do a second one. See what we get here. Let's take a look. And... I can I can never have any available every time. Oh, oh there you go. There that's you one go. of my favorite cards. <laughs> if you're on an, if you have an electric deck, that's one of my favorite cards. So Staff we got. Yeah. I I don't have the ex. There's just some juju no. of opening this live that's... on video. <laughs> just, <laughs> this, this is card's a lot of fun. Up. This card is a lot of fun. I love playing with it. Uh, this this is one of the cards that helped me win all of the the solo battles. So if you're new to the game, um, one of the one of my favorite packs a uh, decks is the electric That's deck. So cool. uh, obviously, Pikachu EX uh, supplemented by um, Zapdos EX. Uh, great, great plan. Maybe we got to go through some great deck ideas, some great deck builds. Is that something you guys would be interested in? Maybe we can do some videos on that stuff. Uh, just trying to get some new ideas, a little bit different content for us. But I, I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, the other thing, obviously, very simple things we can do to get some extra uh, hourglasses would be to do the daily missions. If you do three of them, you get to unlock, I think, four hourglasses or something like that every day. Um, at the top, like every time that you, you complete a daily mission, I think as you do three missions, the bar at the top will fill up. And uh, like at the bottom right there, you see the missions button. Uh, so that bar, see, this one here is advanced missions. But if you go to the daily, I think it's like three of them. And every time that you fill up one of these bars, you have a, a chance to unlock some hourglasses so there's ways there to get them as well um just keep looking for ways to get those hourglasses and that will shorten the time that it takes you to open a pack that's how it works it just shortens the time that you're waiting and then it refreshes the clock to 12 hours yeah i already i already finished my daily missions but you can see i still have some advanced ones to do i'm going to get nine hourglasses at the end of it um mm -hmm. on the daily too you've claimed all your rewards just continuously do this Definitely the advanced missions, daily missions is a way you can do that as well. I like to turn on the notification. So it does tell me throughout the day when I do have a pack, I can see it. Yeah. And um, I think that if you stick to these, this, this right here, there's a doing this alone is a pretty good way to maximize opening packs. I mean, if, if you're trying to get cards, you don't have, let's not forget the wonder picks. Wonder picks are a great way. You know, if you want to, if you want to try to go for certain cards, you can you can use your wonder picks. Um, it's like the opposite of the hourglasses. You can still buy them in the store. So the shop tickets, they're very, very useful for that as well. Um, so there's really like a lot of ways if you play often that you can accumulate and it doesn't get stale. It does involve a lot of battling, which is kind of cool because you have to earn it. But the more you earn, the more chance you have at potentially getting some pretty cool stuff here and actually getting some cards you need because you need the cards in order to battle. The better you're battling, the better you can you can get the thanks. The better you can you'll get hourglasses by beating expert missions on the solo battle. So it's important to get a lot of cards so that you can help and and maximize the amount of free packs on Pokemon that you can get. So I mean that I think that's it here, Joe. So really appreciate you all. Uh, the, the one thing I would say about battling, and I don't know if anybody from Pokemon ever watches this, but um, is I feel like it should be lined up against like similar levels. Cause like if someone comes yeah. in and they're brand new to the game and they don't really have the best deck and they're, they're just starting out um, to get matched up against somebody with like, like Rob who just got a Zapdos EX uh, and his Pikachu deck there, it might be a little bit difficult for them to get started. So um, the versus, I feel like there could be a way to optimize it for uh, level. Cause obviously they have that ranking system. Um, but uh, again, lots of different ways. And even if you lose, like that was, what we were talking about off camera is, what if you just jump into a battle and you concede right away, hoping for that thanks, get the thanks shop ticket, and you just do that like 40 times and, and you get a bunch of tickets and then you can go in uh, and clear that up. So is that something you can do? Do you have to win to get that ticket? I don't think you do. I, um, I find I, – I, I don't think you do. I, I, it's a good question. We should look into that. But I find that there is a limit. It doesn't – not every thanks gives gets it to you me. One. You're right. So when I collect all, usually I think it's like – there's like a maximum of maybe three to six a day. I'm not sure. I have yet to actually dig into it. We should dig into it and figure it out. But um, yeah, there's definitely a maximum. But e either way, though, if you're not battling, you're getting nothing, right? You need yeah. that thanks um, or you're getting nothing. So make sure you guys do a lot of battling. And you, even if you're not winning, at least if you're battling and you're getting the thanks, you have a good chance of getting those shot tickets. You can go get better cards. You can do better at battling. So yep. Guys, let us know in the comments below what do you guys think about today's video. Uh, how do you guys maximize the amount of free packs?
packs of Pokemon. Let us know in the comments below exactly what you guys do. We'd love to hear from you. Um, and I uh, hope you all had a wonderful day. Before you leave, uh, just make sure before you forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, join the superstar fam, hit the bell of fish button so you get videos a couple times a week. Make sure you guys to tune in. Uh, never know when we're going to hit you with one. And also, thank you to our VIPs. Thank you guys all so much for your support. Everyone take care. See you next one. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.